Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering all of the known issues with the Vave Executor. Now, I do request you to watch the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, before jumping into the bug fixes, if you don't already have Vave, you can buy it from the first link in the description, which will take you to my website. And we do offer the seven day and the 30 day key options that you can purchase. And we do have a variety of different payment methods for you to choose from. So make sure you check that out. The very first error code that I'm going to cover is the non-zero exit code error. As you can see, I am personally getting this error code as well. So let me go ahead and show you how you can actually fix this. All right, so the very first thing that you want to do is go ahead and close out of Wave completely just like that and come down over to the Windows search option right here and go ahead and search for run just like that and open that up. Or you can simply click the Windows key and R at the same time and that will also bring up this menu. And then go ahead and type in percent local app data percent just like that and click enter. And that should open up with this folder right here. From here, go ahead and delete the block strap folder, just like that. And go down and also delete the wave folder, just like that. And also remove the Roblox folder. So make sure all three of those folders are completely removed. Just go ahead and refresh and make sure they don't show up in here. Up next, go into the folder called temp, just like that. And delete everything you see within this folder. Now with the files that cannot be deleted, you can simply go ahead and close out of it. Just like that. Up next, go ahead and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description and head over to the bug fixes channel. And just make sure you have both of these programs installed. That is really important. So make sure you do that. All right. Also go ahead and search for control panel in the Windows search and go into uninstall the program and go ahead and look for Roblox. If you do see it in this list anywhere, go ahead and right click it and click on uninstall. That is really important. So make sure you've uninstalled the Roblox application from this list. If you do see it in here, if you don't see it, then just go ahead and skip this step. Now, once you've done all of that, go ahead and restart your computer. And once you restart it, head over to the Wave website one more time and click on the download button for the Wave executor and just choose wherever you want to download it. And of course, at this point, go ahead and open up the installer and install Wave again. Now, this process could take a couple of seconds or a few minutes, so just be patient. And once it does finish, it should look like this. So it should say the installation has been completed. From there, just go ahead and click on next and that will start opening Wave for you. And at this point, it should also bring up a message saying Blockstrap has been installed successfully. So just be patient over here and let it complete the Roblox installation. All right, once the installation has been completed, you can go ahead and log into your Wave account. Now head back over to Roblox again and try loading into a game. All right, here we go. The moment of truth, waiting for client to connect, attempting to inject the client and let's see what happens. And there we go. Boom. As you can see, it does say injected without giving me any errors whatsoever. All right, up next, we're going to go ahead and look at the error code 268. It is a very common error code that a lot of players are facing at the moment, especially after the release of the light version of Wave. So let me go ahead and show you how you can fix this. So the fix to this is actually pretty simple. So all you want to do is simply go ahead and close out of Wave and close out of Roblox as well just completely just like that and go ahead and load into Roblox again without having Wave open. So just make sure you've completely closed Wave and you should be able to load into the Roblox game without any issues. So let's go ahead and wait for this to load. And here we go. Once you do fully load into the Roblox game, go ahead and open up Wave after that. Now, once you do open Wave, it will start attempting to inject into the actual client that you have open. Your game might freeze like this for a couple of seconds. However, it will only take a couple of seconds and you should have successfully injected. Now, let's go ahead and try executing a script. Let's go ahead and grab that script, paste it in here, execute it. And as you can see, it does work without getting the error code. All right, one of the other error codes that some of the players are facing is the 403 error code. Now, if you are getting the 403 error code, I do have some bad news for you. From what I've been told by the staff members of Wave is that the 403 error code does mean that you are blacklisted from using Wave ever again. So that pretty much means that your hardware ID banned. Now, there are several ways of you getting hardware ID banned on Wave, one of them being charging back on your keys. So for example, if you paid with PayPal and you go ahead and charge back, which basically means that you contact PayPal and you let them know that you want your money back, then of course, we as the sellers lose out on money because of that. So we'll of course go ahead and reach out to the owners of Wave and we'll let them know that the key should be terminated. But they'll go ahead and delete the key from the system as well as blacklist whoever was using that key. And of course, we do get a replacement key, so we won't be losing out on money because of that. And of course, in return, you will not be able to use Wave again. Even if you do try to buy another key and you try to use it, it will still give you the same error code. Now, one of the other reasons for getting the 403 error code is, of course, if you have shared your account with anyone else. So if you have given your key or your actual Wave account to anyone else and they use it on their computer, then of course, the Wave security will recognize that and they will automatically ban you and you will not be able to use Wave again. So just make sure guys, if you've purchased Wave, just don't charge back. Even if your key has expired, we can still report that key and that will still get you blacklisted from the system. So just make sure if you purchase Wave, don't try to scam us, okay? All right, up next, we're going to go ahead and cover the Roblox crashes. So there could be several different error codes that show up when Roblox does crash. So if you do try loading into the game and it crashes for any reason, just try these fixes and it should work for you. 
Alright, so if you are experiencing any crashes, firstly do all of the steps that I've shown for the error code 268 because that will probably resolve 99% of the crashes with Roblox. Now, if after doing all of those steps, if it does still crash for you, then I would recommend trying to load Roblox with a hotspot or VPN and that should resolve the issue for you. Alright, up next we're going to go over the outdated Vave error. So if you are getting that, simply go ahead and come over here and search for run and go ahead and click enter and go ahead and type in percent, local update percent, open that up scroll down and go ahead and delete the vape folder from in here once you have deleted it then go ahead and go back onto the vape website and you should be able to download the vape executor again and when you do open it the installer will do the latest update for you and that should fix the issue and last but not least we'll go ahead and cover the error code 401 now again this is a common error code that a lot of players are facing unfortunately though there isn't a known fix to this so i do recommend trying all of the steps that i have shown you in the video and that might resolve it for you if it still doesn't, then you can go ahead and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description along with the pinned comment. And you can go ahead and ask my staff members for help in the Discord server and they should be able to help you. Now with that being said guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully it did help you. If it did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a friendly comment down below letting me know that it has helped you. And I'll see you guys next time.